GeoTab Drive is an app for hours of service, DVIR, messaging, and more. Each section of the app can be used individually or all can be available for use. To start the GeoTab app, simply tap the icon. Now enter your username and password. If you have any questions on this, please ask your manager. The app will now sync and pull the last 14 days of HOS logs, shipments, DVIRs, and trailer attachments onto the tablet or phone. You can now select your vehicle. The last vehicle you used is currently listed. You can either select this vehicle, or you can select another vehicle, or select from a list of nearby vehicles. Here, we will continue with the last used vehicle. If you have a trailer, you can either select the last used, if one is listed, or you can select Attach Another Trailer and select the trailer from that list. Once a trailer is selected, tap the Continue button. Displayed next is any unassigned logs, if there are any for your vehicle. Select the logs that belong to you or select the All button and the Assign to Me button for all trips that are yours. The next display will be the DVIR inspection screen. Press the Inspect button to start a DVIR, or skip if a DVIR is not required. To complete a DVIR, start by inspecting the previous report for your vehicle and note any defects that were found and who the repair was made by. Scrolling down through the inspection, note any remarks if needed and select Certify as Safe if the repair noted is complete or choose Unsafe if you feel the vehicle is unsafe to operate. Next, do your walk around and note any parts of the vehicle that may need repair. If there is any part that needs attention, select that part and select the defect. If there are no defects, then simply touch the No Defects button. Then select Yes to certify the vehicle was inspected in compliance with regional and federal regulations. You can now repeat the DVIR report for a trailer, select Inspect, and review the previous DVIR for the trailer. Note that in this case there are no defects, so scroll to the bottom and certify that you have read the report. Now you can do your walk around of the trailer and note any parts on the trailer that may need repair or select no defects if there are no defects to report. Certify that you have inspected the trailer by selecting yes. You are now on the main dashboard for GeoTab Drive. All buttons available here are HOS, DVIR, messages, assets or trucks and trailers and settings. You also have an easy navigation menu in the top left corner which allows you to move between the options. And in the top right corner is your name or person icon. Pressing this allows you to log out or add a driver for team drivers or co-drivers. Up to three can be logged into the app. Beside your name is an envelope or notification icon, which displays any new messages or updates. To the right of your notifications is an information button, which shows you all of your connections. Your vehicle is connected, GeoTab Drive is connected, GPS is connected, and the device has power. If any of these are not connected, they are displayed in red. Let's start with hours of service from your dashboard. You can see here that you are on duty, which is from your DVIR inspection you just completed. The app puts you on duty as soon as you start the DVIR. Select the HOS button to enter into your HOS screen. Hours of service is split up into five different tabs. In the Status tab display, you are shown the statuses in your rule set and the time available in each status. The top bar displays the maximum amount of time you have left to drive at this moment. The Graph tab is next. This displays your duty status logs, much like paper logs. 
On the right, you will see a total summary of how much time you have spent in each status for a 24-hour period. Scrolling down to the bottom displays the starting and ending odometer for all vehicles you have driven for the day. Scroll back up to access one of the two navigation arrows, allowing you to cycle through a full seven or eight days of logs, depending on your rule set. This shows the status graph of each day as you flip through. A red line appears if you have driven in violation. A yellow bar indicates any logs that have been changed or edited, and the green bars show the logs that have been verified or signed off on. The bar is gray if the log has not been verified. The next tab is Logs. This displays all the logs from the graph in a text format, the date, the time, the location, time spent in the status, and summary of the miles driven for the day is displayed. Scroll down to display all your logs and advisory messages noting any violation. Note, these displays are only for you. Any roadside inspection will not see these messages. The next tab is the Verify tab, which is where you sign off on the logs. To verify a log, simply select the log to verify or scroll down to the bottom and select All. Then select the Verify button. All logs have been signed off as you see here. Moving back to the Logs tab, you can now see there are check marks beside each log, noting they have been verified. If you forgot to log a status, simply press the Add Log button. And select the status to change to Off, Sleeper Berth, On, or Drive. You can select the date as well as the time. For example, here we can change to yesterday at 5.15 and select the Add button. You need to type a reason for the added log and then choose Add. If you need to perform an edit, press the log to be changed and edit the status. For this example, we will be selecting Off and scrolling through to the end of the log in order to add any comments. And to remove a status log, simply press the Remove button. The last tab is the Options. Here you can apply any exemptions available to you. In adverse weather conditions, select Apply Today. If you have a yard move, press Start. Or if you have personal use available to you, press Start. Once you are done with the special exemptions, you need to press the Stop button to complete the yard move or personal use. Scroll through to the bottom and use the Generate button to create the compliance report to show to an officer for a roadside inspection. Scrolling down through the report displays the relevant information for the day as well as the graph and the logs. Scrolling through the days by pressing the navigation arrow at the top of the report displays the last seven or eight days depending on the rule set you use. Also note, there are no violations displayed in this report. This report displays all of the required information that is needed to show the DOT officer, so you only need to generate this report and display each day to the inspector. Return to the HOS display by using the menu button at the top left. There are two statuses that GeoTab Drive automatically changes to. If the vehicle starts to moving, the status changes to Drive. If the vehicle stops moving for five consecutive minutes, the status changes to On Duty. All other statuses must be driver initiated. You need to press Off Duty if you are taking your 30 minute break. Move to On Duty as you come back from the break or choose Sleeper Berth if you are moving to the Sleeper Berth.
These statuses must be chosen by you by pressing the button that applies. So please ensure you have the power cable connected at all times for the automatic status changes to work. Here is an example of a manual change from off-duty to on-duty. Then an automatic change as the vehicle moves, the status changes to drive. Here you can see the lock screen that appears when the vehicle is in motion. This displays the maximum amount of time left to drive. Once the vehicle stops for five minutes, the status changes automatically to on, and you have full access to the app. We are now going to log out of Geotab Drive. To do so, select your name at the top and select Log Out. It is recommended that you log out of Geotab Drive at the end of your shift. If you have any unverified logs, you will be prompted to sign off on those logs. Do this by pressing the All button and then Verify. The next prompt will be to update your status before logging out. Off-duty is the default as you should be going off-duty at the end of your shift. If you need to go to another status, select one of the other two available and select Set New Status. Geotab is now syncing your logs and your logout is complete.